put into the onrushing striker to take the advantage. But this extra touch, extra slick is getting frustrating and very annoying. We saw Fernandez, Eric's in my opinion, in my opinion, are not better, they are not better passers of the ball than Odega. But they make sure they pass the ball at the right time. And look at what result they scored two 30 goals from a counter attack because their midfielders were not taking the extra touch. They are, in my opinion, they are not as good as Odega. But guess what? They were making the right decisions at the right time. De Bruyne is a fantastic midfielder that has the intricate passing. I'll call it a world-class midfielder. Boy, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stick a like on the video if you love the content. And make sure, if possible, share the content too. Subscribe, like, then turn on the notification bell. I'm going to discuss an older guy. Because I've seen a few tweets on the internet. Uh, I've seen people go overboard and criticize Nodega. And I've seen a, a lot of people you know, overly protecting. Like I said, and I always say all the time, I'm an Arsenal fan, first and foremost. I love my players and I always criticize them objectively. And I'll give them their flowers when they deserve flowers. Olega for me is a fantastic player, in my opinion. Top class player, not a world class player yet. Two different things. He's a top class player, but he's not a world class player. He can get there, he's still young. He has time on the side. He needs to give, give, bring those performances that will make him in that bracket or those conversations of a world class player. Against Manchester United, I was very frustrated. And I, and I, if you look at the other videos I made in the channel, make sure you go and check them out. I laid my points out. Like Odega is a good ten, but we have to call him out. Why does it take the extra pass all the time? When you play the likes of Manchester United, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool. You won't have small chances to take the extra passes all the time. When the chance for you to take a shot is available, take it. There are no goals that is guaranteed. You might score it, the keeper might parry it into the onrushing striker to take the advantage. But this extra touch, extra slick is getting frustrating and very annoying. We saw Fernandez, Eric's in my opinion, in my opinion, are not better, they are not better passers of the ball. Than Odega, but they make sure they pass the ball at the right time and look at what result they scored two 30 goals from a counter attack because their midfielders were not taking the extra touch. They are, in my opinion, they are not as good as Odega, but guess what? They were making the right decisions at the right time. De Bruyne is a fantastic midfielder that has the intricate passing. I'll call it a world class midfielder, but he takes shot when necessary. So, why can't Odega just learn from that? Mostly. Overly criticizing. I remember the first game against Crystal Palace, he had a problem that against Baltimore, all of a sudden he started shooting. Now he has reverted back his bad habit. Like, we have to call him out on this. I love Odega. Like I said, I'm not a fan uh, stan or I'm not a fan of any particular player. I'm an Arsenal fan, at, at, first and foremost, and I love our players. If they stay fantastic, he decide to go, what can I do? I'm more invested in the club than any particular players. Am, am I saying our players can go? No, I'm saying the club comes first. And I love our players. And I'll, like I said, I'll give them their flowers when necessary. And I'll objectively, objectively, not about so objectively criticize their performance. And I think the performance on Sunday at the loss at Old Trafford, Odegaard did not pull his weight. I'm not going to fall for or it was not fully fit. No, he was holding up to the ball too much. He was not take, he was taking the extra touch. And when he had the chance to shoot, he refused to shoot. Looking for the extra slick pass. He doesn't work all the time. You're not playing against Burnley. You're not with all respect to you. are not playing against Southampton. That you have those chances all the time. When you are playing in the big, that's why a lot of critics, they pond it. And uh fans of other club do not see him at that top level because. They say in the big games, doesn't show up. Not that it doesn't show up, in my opinion. He doesn't make the decisive decision in the big games. What he needs to do better? He needs to fix up. Vieira came in for a coming appearance for 15 minutes and he had more shots than Odega. That make that make sense. Not that we're also having wasteful shots. He was still trying to find a pass. But when the chance is there, take the shot, Odega. Take the shot. Doesn't cost you anything. 
What do I need to fix up? Seriously. I'm, I'm not among those fans or content creators that go over ball over criticizing players and I will not blindly support players. I will not. Like I said, he has not been pulling his way when it comes to taking chances or finding the right pass. Overpassing is not part of the game. I, I enjoy beautiful football as that presents. The, the stick passing, when it comes when it comes off, it's fantastic. But sometimes you have to be decisive, you have to be ruthless, and you have to have the killer instincts. My you are the killer instinct. My did not dominate the game against Arsenal. They were a better team. We were a better team, but they had the killer instincts. They made the right choices of pass. So Arsenal needs to fix up. This is not about a young team. It's about our captain not fixing up. He needs to fix up. What he needs to fix up. Am I chatting rubbish? Let me know in the comment section. Do you agree with my point? Do you think Odega has been having a fantastic game or do you think he sometimes holds on to the ball too much and he overpasses sometimes? The extra pass is not needed sometimes. Let me know in the comment section if I'm chatting, boo, or you think my points are legitimate. Let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video.